Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a divine masculine reading. So let's go ahead and get started. So you guys got soft spoken, um, soft spoken reverse, repressed emotions, and I don't give a fuck energy. So basically, what this is sh um saying is that like, um, you could have been like soft spoken in a sense, okay, um, where you was afraid something here and i kind of feel like you have a lot that was repressed on your mind or that you was thinking that you was keeping in okay and now i kind of feel like you about to release this shit and i kind of feel like you about to be in a i don't give a fuck type of energy once you do oh uh, and i kind of feel like people around you is not even going to um expect this because they're going to be expecting you to be like you know in this soft spoken type of energy but i kind of feel like you tired of being caged up or you tired of being like suppressed, um, in a sense. And I kind of feel like you about to just, you know, put some shit out there where it's like you don't even give a fuck for real. Um, and I kind of feel like you're going to do it where it's, you ain't apologizing about anything. Um, I kind of feel like you balancing out something in your life. Things has been balancing out in your life. And I kind of feel like you having fun. Okay. Living it up, doing what you got to do here. And I kind of feel like, um, you following your own passions. Um, in a love relationship, though, I kind of feel like, um, I feel like you're trying to heal from some type of love situation here yeah, that could have ended, um, bad, okay, um, that could have ended with some type of deception, um, you didn't receive any type of apologies, you didn't receive any closure, okay, when it came to this relationship, and I kind of feel like you're trying to heal the best way you can, okay, um, you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, but yeah, I just kind of feel like you basically following your own passions, um, and you basically following, you healing the best way that you can here. Um, I kind of feel like you're not even thinking about love at the moment, um, because I feel like you had so much that you was thinking about that put you in that repressed energy. That was that love shit. And I kind of feel like you just, you know, doing your own thing. Okay. Um, focusing on money, focusing on family, okay, building some type of stable foundation, solid foundation, you know, building some solid um money and stuff for the family here. Um and yeah, this is what it looks like I see here. Um you could have been indecisive in two minds about a situation, especially when it came to some type of betrayal. Okay, um, you could have been indecisive of whether or not you was going to accept some type of love offer, but I kind of feel like you decided not to here. Um, I kind of feel like you just remained to stay by yourself or you willing to stay um, to yourself here because I kind of feel like it's too complicated. This situation could definitely um, cause some type of drama or some type of drama when it comes to uh, the family here. Um, yeah, so I kind of feel like you basically just keep it to yourself, being in hermit mode. Um, I feel like, I feel like, honestly, like to some people, it's like you. We have the death card here in hermit, so it's like, where did you go? You know what I'm saying? Like you just, you off the radar completely. Okay. Um, yeah, and I kind of feel like this has something to do with a love relationship, or this has something to do with somebody who you was in a love relationship with. Um, who had betrayed you and I kind of feel like they you know it's like they did to you right now you're not even paying them no mind like um yeah this is definitely a stalemate type of energy here um due to due to past hurts and betrayals um and love I kind of feel like that put like your future you're not even thinking about love to be honest um <laughs> yeah it's like you more so focusing on you know, your stability, you, you live in life, you're doing it up, you're trying to balance yourself out, um, and following your own passions and following what it is that you need to do for your family, for your family legacy and building, you know, financial stability. Um, yeah. And I kind of feel like you don't give a fuck. So whatever this is that you was like, Timothy shy about doing, you're ready to break free up and break free and, uh, expose all this shit honey like yeah that's what i feel so yeah um you definitely heal it from a relationship that ended for sure okay um yeah you definitely healing from some relationship that you sure it's definitely could be like um conflicts when it's surrounded you moving forward towards your passion and you gain some type of money like this has something to do with like family members like conflict and um 
this could be issues like you know how like um biggie said more money more problems so this could be like you get more money more problems but this is like surrounding like um family and shit you know what i'm saying and and, and call altercations like that you know um which is i feel like it's something you can deal with so the zodiac signs i see here is scorpio cancer pisces sagittarius aries leo sag um capricorn taurus virgo scorpio virgo Okay, so you guys, advice. Okay, we got um, hope. Hope gives you wings to fly. Yeah, so I kind of feel like you having a lot of hope. Like I said, you balancing out. Okay, you balancing and you healing. And I kind of feel like you, you know, you focusing more on what it is that you have to do. Um, and not focusing on that, you know, relationship or whatever it is that was an ending or whatever that was that was a betrayal in your life. So we have yes, okay, with an exclamation point. Well, it's just yes. The answer is yes. And then we have um, life is a series of consistent shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So, yeah, they saying for you to go with the flow here. Um, you're going to be put through different cycles. And I feel like you are going with the flow and you following where this path is leading you. Okay. Um, we have becoming braver. So, yeah, this is you, you know, going on that adventure here. Okay. Um, you know, becoming brave, seeing things from, you know, a different perspective and just going for it. Okay. Um, courageously. And the rest of the zodiac signs that we have here is Capricorn Venus, Pisces Moon, Leo Moon, and a Capri a Cancer Venus. So hopefully you guys got something from this reading. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop your comments. Um, if you want a personal, hit me up on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one.